so cool. Oh my god, this looks so cool. This is Dark Academia, is it not? Is it not? Prove me wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. This is Dark Academia. Today's video is a Princess Polly haul. It's a Dark Academia haul and I've been promising you guys since my last Princess Polly video that I would give Dark Academia a try. The last time that I tried on Dark Academia clothing was in my Thriftmas video from last year and that video... <laughs> Well, that was a great success, might I say so myself. People told me that the Dark Academia styles suited me, uh, arguably more so than my usual pastel style, but like I always say, and as is the motto of my existence, dress to please yourself, don't dress to please anyone else. Wear the things that make you happy. Maybe dark colours might suit you more, but if pastels make you happy, then wear it to your grave. But, that being said, it's fun to try new things once in a while, and of course, dressing like I'm straight out of St. Trinian's is indeed quite new for me. Today's video is sponsored by Princess Polly, and I'm so happy to be working with them again. The last time that I made a video, which was this one here, I was quite literally blown away by the clothing. I knew their clothing was nice, but I was... No words. No words. Without a doubt, I would say one of, if not the best clothing brand that I've reviewed so far. And I don't say things like that lightly. See, when I review clothing brands, I always factor things in like price and quality, and often you'll hear me say, this thing feels really, really cheap, but it's worth it. Or you'll hear me say, this was really expensive, and it doesn't feel like it's worth the price. Or you'll hear me say, this was cheap, but it feels really, really good. As far as Princess Polly goes, everything that I tried on felt luxe. It felt so good! And I mentioned in that video that I was interested in doing a Dark Academia style video featuring clothing from Princess Polly. Now after that video went live, I got an email from them saying that they watched it and they loved it and they really liked the idea of the Dark Academia video and they told me, tell us what items that you want and we'll send them to you and we'll pay you. Which is always nice. It's so exciting to be sponsored by a brand that I love and I legitimately love Princess Polly. So thank you so much, Princess Polly. Uh, anyway, so they told me to send them the items that I wanted and uh, I thought to myself, you know what could be fun? When I did the thrifted Dark Academia video, I played it kind of safe as I normally do with clothing. You know, I have my, my comfort styles, the styles of clothing that I like, the cuts that I feel comfortable in, and uh, as far as Dark Academia goes, my knowledge of the outfits doesn't extend much further than tweed jackets, beige skirts, and satchel bags. That's, the, that's basically, that's as far as I get with Dark Academia. So I thought to myself, you know what might be fun and interesting and uh, might mean that you guys get to see a broader range of styles? I thought, how about I let a friend of mine, not you, how about I let a friend of mine pick the outfits for me? My friend Lucy joined me for my last Princess Polly video. People unanimously said that Lucy styled me far better than I styled myself. So I called upon Lucy once again to help me choose the Dark Academia outfits. I have not seen them. They're in this box here. I've just opened it, but I haven't looked inside and I don't know what's in there and I don't know what she picked. There is a thousand dollars worth of clothing in this box. That's intimidating. Ouch, your claws, ow. Now on my last Princess Polly video, I noticed a lot of comments saying, Alex, this clothing is incredible. I really wanna buy it for myself but I'm a size 14 or I'm a size 16. And I can't tell what these things would look like on me because you're not my size. So originally I was going to get my friend Caitlin to join me for this video. Caitlin wears an Australian size 16. But uh, unfortunately here in Sydney, we're in a little, little bit of a lockdown right now and we can't see our friends. So Caitlin has ordered some Dark Academia themed items of her own from Princess Polly and that video is on her channel. So if you want to check out a different body shape and some different clothing items, Items in a different size, then head over to Caitlin's channel. But without further ado, let's open up this box. Now, if you guys want to order anything that you see in today's video, head to Princess Polly and you can use my code Pastel Polly, which I think is so cute. Pastel Polly. Pretty Pastel Polly, please. Princess Polly, Pastel, please. Pastel Princess Polly, Pastel, please. The code is Pastel Polly, and you'll get 20% off. That's a very generous discount, so thank you, Princess Polly, again, for sponsoring this video. Princess Polly offers free express shipping on Australian orders over $50, and when I say express, I mean, like, it literally turns up either the same day 
all the next day. It is excellent shipping and excellent quality items. So if you want to buy anything for yourself, use Pastel Polly at the checkout for 20% off. This feels like Christmas. I always love these sort of videos where people pick my outfits for me because I'm not particularly adventurous. Hi, I'm Lizzie. I figured I would just let you know what little thoughts in my tiny brain that I had. I thought it would be really cool to do a capsule wardrobe concept. There's sort of no hard and fast rules for Dark Academia, so I had seen a lot of inspo pics that were black and gray with a little touch of green or a dark red, chocolatey browns and caramelly sort of colors. And I lean slightly more into that just because I think that looks good on Alex. It looks good on her, sue me. I wanted her to feel her Anya Taylor-Joy Queen's Gambit fantasy, don't we all? <laughs> So pretty. Let's get into it. I think we found our blazer. I feel like we definitely need to have one. I feel like it's key to the academia style silhouette and it has a nice plaid. Nope, gingham. It's not tartan, or is it? One thing I know about Alex, I know that she loves flares. So let's just search for flares. These are technically jeans, but because they're quite a dark wash and they don't have a lot of variation in the color, I think they also just look like pants. They're a really gorgeous color. The model looks great in them. Even her styling, it's not really dark academia, but that 70s sort of vibe is very funky and fresh. These might be good. It's giving me more of that vintage kind of eclectic vibe that I was sort of after because some of the other ones had kind of ruching and stuff, which is really popular at the moment, but I wanted something a little more retro vintage vibes and I think this might be it. In a lot of the Dark Academia inspo, I've seen lots of necklace layering and gold necklaces, but this one, okay, had a little Picasso themed detail and I'm thinking to myself, Picasso, culture, art, academia, baby. So I think this is one of the accessories I want to pick. Is Dark Academia just an evolved version of Tumblr Arto from 2013? We definitely need a knit and I'm gonna go again to brown because I feel like it's all encompassing between beige to brown and there are some really cute things here. What are we gonna pick? Well, that looks like a chunky boy. See, the way this is styled is actually not far off Dark Academia full stop. I actually really like the skirt as well, but I'm about 95% certain that she has a skirt really similar to this from the last Princess Polly video she did. So hopefully even if it's not in this video, she'll she'll pair them together because I think it's a cute combo with the little boots too. Oh, this is really cute. And I feel like it's sort of dark academia, but not really. It's a little, <sighs> she looks so good in it. I'll come back to you. Okay, that one's a really oversized fit, but I feel like Alex, can really pull it off because she got that model physique baby. So I feel like it'll just drape really nicely. And if she pairs it with a vest or a belt or a jacket, whatever, I feel like it will look really good. I feel like these shoes are very different to what Alex normally wears. The loafer vibe and even like styled in this picture here with the brown slacks and the, I just feel like for dark academia, these will work really well. I want to see if I can try and find some nice boots. Maybe in like a chocolatey color. Ooh, that looks like delicious melted chocolate. And when I'm talking, you know, Cadbury, which I actually love and respect a good Cadbury milk chocolate, I'm talking lint, potentially milk, but it looks a little darker. It's probably about the 70% point. And that's just an excellent point to be at for a color for a boot. So I'm thinking these are, yes, they are so cute. All right, I didn't show you everything I picked out, but I think, I think it's gonna work. We have a dark academia mini capsule wardrobe concept. Lock it in. So let's have a look. The Edge sweater mini dress in brown. Part of my challenge today is going to be to take all of these items that Lucy's picked and put together some outfits. Oh, okay, right. It, it looks like a vest, but it's a dress. See my vest, see my vest. My green bird did scratch my chest. It is hurting, it is painful. Silly birdie, that's so shameful. See my vest, see my vest. Put Princess Polly to the test. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, a bag. Oh, look, I am 100% compostable. Oh, that's nice. I really don't like it when you order clothing from a store and every piece of clothing comes wrapped in a bag and then it's just plastic and you gotta throw it in the bin. This is compostable wrapping, that's great. This is beautiful. This is such a lovely bag. So it's a faux crocodile skin, got a little plus sign there and a gold chain. Now I love gold hardware, I think it's so beautiful and I definitely think that the gold tones lend more to dark academia than silver, I would say. 
probably brass more so than gold, but gold is definitely in the right direction. This is a pretty decent size looking bag. I feel like this is gonna go with quite literally everything from today's video. And not something I would have picked for Dark Academia. I would have probably picked just the classic leather satchel kind of bag, but uh, Lucy's right, you know, there are other handbags out there. Ouch, claws, claws, claws. Oh, what's this? Enjoy your new... Oh. Uh, uh, hang on, I need to, I need to read this. It says, enjoy your new... Enjoy your new Princess Polly styles, Alex. Your 20% discount code is Pastel Polly. <laughs> All right, we have shoes. Ooh, boots. Oh, yes. Ooh, oh my God. They're amazing. Please fit me. Please fit me, please. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I just, I told, what, what are you doing? I told Lucy my, yeah, yeah, I know. I told her my size and she wrote the list and then I just copied and pasted everything that she wrote and I sent it to Princess Polly. Um, I really hope that she got my shoe. Oh, yes! Ah! I'm just really excited about the shoes. Oh. oh my God, these are literally my dream boots. My dream boots. They are a dream. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm not exaggerating. You guys have no idea how long I've been looking for boots like this. Do you remember in my last Princess Polly video, I tried on those and I complained that they had this like weird black kind of line at the bottom of them. I loved the shape of the toe and I loved the shape of the heel. These, they have such a good height heel and the toe is a really, really nice shape too. Oh, sorry, chaos in the pastel household this evening. There's a bird trying to my head and I'm trying to these boots. Ta da! <gasps> Aren't they beautiful, Archie? Dun, 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 dun. These are called the Jessa boots in chocolate brown. I'm obsessed. These are my favorite shoes now. I don't care that they're not pastel. Excuse me, get your grabby little hands away. Hey, look! It looks like a white button-up shirt. So this is called the Dawn Mini Dress in white. Okay, so it's a dress. You know, good thing I'm wearing a messy bun because he's messing up my eye. I was going for the messy bun today because it seems to go well with dark academia. Good thing I have Archie to style it for me. This one, this feels lovely. This is really, really thick fabric. It doesn't look sheer. It actually looks like multiple layers of... No, it's not. It's just so thick that it feels like it's multiple layers of fabric. This is luxe. This is luxe. I think I'm going to put this underneath that. That just makes perfect sense to me. I don't know if I would wear this as a dress. I know it's called a dress, but I'm not sure if I'd wear it as a dress. Although, that being said, Part of the fun of the video is trying things that I wouldn't normally wear. All right, oh, we have something black now. Interesting. See, I probably wouldn't have picked anything black for Dark Academia, unless it was just a black turtleneck maybe, but I feel like I would, I would more so lean towards browns and beiges, but here's a little black pinstripe skirt. This is very cute. I really like the, the bottom of it. Look, it's got really nice hemline. Interesting, and definitely not what I would consider dark academia. This is the Harper tennis skirt in black. All right, all right, Lucy, okay. All right, what's this? We've got the Mia sweater in beige. This is more of a pinky kind of color to me. I wouldn't call that beige as such. It definitely looks a little bit more pink. Not sure what I'm going to wear this one with. This is uh, like a waffle knit and it feels very soft and very comfortable. Hey, a black turtleneck. This is called the Dana top in black and um, this feels very nice. This is very thick, it's very stretchy. Looks a little bit small, but I think because it's so stretchy, it should fit okay. Not the highest neckline, so I wouldn't actually call it a turtleneck. It's kind of a turtleneck, but, but kind of not quite enough of a turtleneck to be considered one. Now I would probably pair the black turtleneck. Oh gee, I would maybe do plaid pants, plaid skirt beige skirt. Tan skirt? I'm not very creative. Speaking of plaid, plaid pants please. Pretty pastel plaid plants please. Plaid plants, 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 plants. Don't forget to follow my plant account. Pastel plants please. These are indeed plaid pants and they're so cool. This is a very fine blue stripe in here. These are called the Dane pants in beige. These look promising. 
I am on the hunt for the perfect pair of... I'm on the hunt for the perfect pair of trousers that are high-waisted but also are so long that they go down to my shoes. I need pants that have like a an inseam of 80 something centimeters like I'm talking I need like at least a meter or more length in pants and uh, these look like they could be it are they the pants that I've been searching for my whole life find out in 10 minutes shoes again to be honest I don't care what shoes are in this box because I'm wearing the perfect shoes I don't need whatever shoes these are Good lord. Well, you know what? As far as dark academia goes, I would say most certainly yes. You look great. Oh, thank you. Look, it's dad. Um, he pooed on me. Can you get a tissue? Oh no. I'm just going to not move a muscle because there's the poo precariously balanced on my leg. Oh. Ah, you're a traitor, Archie. Oh, you've ground it into the cup. The joys of owning a pet. Thanks for doing that, Dan. Good night. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Good boy. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So these shoes, they're really cool. They are kind of a reddish. Yeah, I would say, I was going to say that they're brown, but they're more of a red kind of colour. And then this is navy, beautiful gold detail. These are going to look very, very nice. They're called the Credence Penny Loafers in Burgundy. Do, 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 looking out my back door. Next up, we have the Anya Jumper in Beige. Alright, ooh, this is lovely. Good lord, this is so heavy. This is lovely. This is so nice! I'm amazed! I love it! It's so heavy! So heavy! It's uh, winter in Australia right now and Dark Academia I think is uh, definitely a warmer kind of aesthetic so I'm going to be very very happy but uh, for those of you in a country where it might be summer at the moment I'm not entirely sure how one would dress in the Dark Academia aesthetic for summer. I suppose shorts and button-up shirts that are short-sleeved and maybe sleeveless turtlenecks. Uh, if you have any idea, leave it in the comments down below, please. Let's have a look at the next item, which hopefully will be something else that's warm. I was gonna say, because it's winter and I'd love to go out wearing warm clothing, but I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I think we're going to be locked down until at least the end of August. That's all right. I can still wear this in September. This is a tweed, I believe, jacket. This is the Mrs. Nancy blazer. Is there a pun there that I'm missing? Nancy. 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 The nanny? Is that Nancy? No. Nancy. The girl from Stranger Things? No. Surely they've named it Mrs. Nancy because there's some pop culture character that is called Nancy that dresses like this, right? Surely. This to me is the epitome of dark academia. Is this plaid? No. Or is this tweed? No, tweed is a type of fabric, right? Tweed isn't a pattern, it's a type of fabric. Houndstooth? No, it's too small to be houndstooth. Oh God, I'm stressed. Look, let's call it a tweed jacket. Looks like the epitome of dark academia. Oh, what's this? What? I'm just a dirt bag, baby. Literally. This is not your traditional plastic bag. This one is partially made from plants and is completely compostable. When you toss it in with your home compost, I'll break down just like organic waste, leaving no nasty chemicals behind. What a vibe! That is so cool! Ooh, interesting. Okay, vintage vibes shirt in champagne. This is like a, a satiny kind of material, which is not the sort of material that I would have uh, picked for Dark Academia. Again, because I'm probably just always playing it very safe, but I think I would probably just go for a, a standard cotton kind of shirt. But I think that this will look exceptional tucked into something whether it's a skirt or pants oh we have a belt this is the loop me round belt Ooh. oh cool oh my goodness this is confusing hang on sorry what what i don't understand what does it do i may have to consult pictures online this is confusing and slightly intimidating oh jewelry yes i'm so glad she included jewelry all i want 
is to wear like a gold necklace on the outside of a turtleneck. Oh, oh, interesting. This is called the Picasso necklace set in gold. This isn't one necklace? No, this is multiple. This is neck lie. Not a necklace, it is neck lie. That one, that one, that's perfect. That is exactly, exactly what I need. Oh, a headband. Cute! This is the Bratitude headband in brown. I wonder if this will look okay with my hairstyle. Not quite. I, I may have to change my hairstyle. But this is really nice. It's a really nice soft fabric. Ooh, what do we got here? Pants. Dark pants. Yes, very good. These are called the Dark Wash Flare Jeans in Brown. <gasps> flare. Flare. They are. They are flared. I love flared jeans. I will scream it until the end of my days. I love flared jeans. They're very thick denim and uh, please don't bite me. Why? There's only one more thing. Ooh, this is soft. What on earth is this? I didn't read the bag. Can you pick that bag up for me, please? Thank you. What did it say? Um, uh, the Zahara sweater in brown. This is the softest piece of clothing I have felt in my entire life. And I'm not just saying that. What the hell? What is this made of? Tell me your secrets. 72% acrylic, 25% nylon, and 3% spandex. Uh, you know, if you told me, like, oh, that's uh, cashmere and angora wool or something, I'd be like, ah, oh, yes, checks out. Oh my god. This is so cool. What? This is so cool. This is. No, no. Don't you dare. Don't you destroy my necklace. D I don't care. This is. Delightful. Delightful. <laughs> Looks like it's got very long sleeves that flare out. They like balloon out at the end and then they taper in. And then look at this enormously long turtleneck, which I believe you'll probably have to roll down. But I can tell right now that this is going to be one of my favorite pieces of clothing ever. And uh, I hope that it's available in other colors because I'm... Let's put Archie to bed because uh, it's that, that time of the night where he's um, getting a little bit frisky. It's very hard to try on clothes when you've got an animal trying to f your head. All right, time for me to decide some outfits. Um, oh, speaking of outfits, I should probably tell you about what I'm wearing. This is the outfit that Lucy picked for me from my last video. I think that this one, the theme of the outfit was meant to be preppy. And uh, this is the outfit that I put together. And this is the outfit that Lucy picked for the preppy theme. And I thought that it tied in really, really well with the dark academia. The skirt is quite literally perfect for the theme. The top, perhaps not so much. So first of all, I'm going to swap out the top with this one. Actually, I think I'm just going to put this straight over the top because it's a... Uh, Five degrees outside. No, I won't be leaving my house, but if I go outside to water my veggie garden, I can do it looking like this. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's literally amazing. I love this so much. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look, the sleeves. I just, I love how you can kind of adjust them and then they, they make different shapes depending on, you know, how high up that you pull it. You can have it really sort of cinched right up there and have really sort of puffy accentuated sleeves or you can bring them all the way down and I have quite long arms and look these they can come all the way down past my fingers I reckon if I just kind of tuck it so it's just covering my hands like that now it's not quite long enough for me to tuck into my skirt I could sort of but not really it's, it's not gonna stay like the second that I move it's just gonna pop out but I actually think that it looks totally fine, not tucked in. What do we think of this outfit? Is this a dark academia outfit? Is uh, this a dark academia outfit? This is... I am so comfortable right now. You have literally no idea. I can't explain how comfortable I am. The boots are the best height ever. This is the sort of height I can wear quite literally all day every day no problem at all oh my god and the skirt from last time is so comfy it's super stretchy really warm comfortable incredible pockets glorious pocket size no really look look at the big big old chonky iphone fits straight in there this top is magnificent and i'm obsessed and i 
hope hang on look there's no point in me saying i hope it comes in other colors and making you guys do the googling let me do the googling i don't even have to look at the tag to remember the name it was called the zahara top and i know that because i'm never gonna forget that you don't forget the name of your favorite child oh it comes in beige and it comes in green and it comes in gray oh my god but are you kidding me are you kidding me That's hilarious. That, I, I didn't plan that. That's so funny. So it comes in beige, brown, gray, and green. No pink. Princess Polly, please. Pretty pastel, please, Princess Polly. Make a pink, pretty pullover. I feel like I've just won the video. I don't need to take this outfit off. I don't need to go any further with this. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you for picking this top. I wouldn't have picked it. <laughs> no, really, I definitely wouldn't have picked this. I don't know why. I just... I don't know. I, I guess it, this is the sort of thing where in the picture it's like, yeah, that's cool. Cool. Moving on. <laughs> but now that it's here and I'm touching it and I'm wearing it and it's the softest thing I've ever worn, I wonder how many things there are out there in the world that I've seen in pictures and just dismissed. But had I given it a chance, I would have been amazed. It's like everyone that's ever submitted a resume, really. Sorry, I, I'm, why am I going off on a tangent? You know why? It's 2 a.m. That's why. I'm gonna leave this top on and I'm gonna try it with these pants because... I don't know why. Help! I can't decide. I can't decide if I want to wear them tucked into the boots or not. They're lovely pants, but they just don't look right on me. Proportionately, they I, I don't know, I just think they're not sitting in the most flattering way. Hmm. I think that my search for the perfect pair of plaid pants continues. I haven't found them yet. They're definitely nice. They're nice pants, nice quality. I, I feel like tucked in, they probably look a bit better. Oh god, I love these boots so much. I feel like I should be riding a horse. I should be smoking a pipe in the English countryside with Sherlock Holmes. I'm on my way to a polo match. I think I need to change my top. Oh dear, I have well and truly ruined my hair. Hopefully that's okay. This is not the right outfit. I feel like Lucy did not intend these items to go together. I think I'm gonna take the boots off as much as it pains me so. Oh, <gasps> these are comfy. Oh wow, oh they're very comfy. Ooh. Oh, I almost don't know how to walk in them. They're so practical. <laughs> I love the top. This top is very comfy. It's uh, tight, it's really tight, but not in an uncomfortable way. In a firm and supportive hug kind of way. In a no darling, you don't need any more Oreos, you've already had 10 kind of way. Really lovely fabric. Neckline, like I said, it's not entirely a turtleneck. It's just more so like a high neck. It ends right here, so just sort of above the waistline of these pants. So the top is not long enough to tuck into them. And uh, the pants for me, now see, I'm very, 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 very fussy when it comes to pants. Pants have to meet this like very specific formula for me to love them. I like the waist to sit all the way up there without digging in. I want this part to be about this high and I want the bottom of the pants to touch the ground when I'm wearing flat shoes. So for my weirdly specific trouser criteria, they don't work quite right. But let's try them with this belt. I'm gonna try to put this on without looking at any pictures. Now what? It's definitely not meant to be like that. <laughs> what if you do that and then you tie a bow like that? Ah, I see. I don't see. Wait, what? I'm confused. Interesting, I'll give it that. Unusual is another word. Unique, perhaps. Quirky, fun. Okay, I feel like this outfit for me is 70% there. I think the top is accurate. I think the necklace is fine. The belt to me is a little bit too uh, modern and edgy. Probably would have preferred to have seen like a thicker belt with a classic belt buckle, but that being said, I would then own like 10 of that exact belt because I've bought it many times. <laughs> exactly the belt I'm talking about. So I like that Lucy chose something unusual and interesting 
but I feel like the way that this hangs down is not quite dark academia. I also think that the shade of the pants is not quite right for this outfit. So I'm gonna try on the brown ones, the jeans. All right, so here we are. What do we think? Do we like it? Yay or nay? I really, really like it, but also part of me is questioning if there is too much gold. Can you ever have enough gold? Is there such a thing as too much gold? My wallet would say no. I love this. I think it's so nice. And I think this will be really, really nice paired with this blazer. <gasps> yes. Yes. I don't know if uh, Lucy intended for me to put these things specifically together, but I love it. I absolutely love this. Oh my God. This is sick. This is so cool! Oh, you know what I'm missing? Glasses. You know how I know I'm missing glasses? Because I can't see the camera. <laughs> They're in our bedroom and it's like 3 a.m. So I probably shouldn't go in there and wake Dan up. I'm gonna take some pictures in this outfit wearing the glasses. <laughs> I'm gonna do that tomorrow and I'm gonna post them on Instagram and uh, if you guys can go over and leave a comment on the picture and tell me which outfit was your favorite. And then you can see this outfit with glasses on because I feel like that would just complete it, you know? Maybe also a stack of books. Yeah, I want to see this with the boots. Oh, you know what? What about those other boots from my other Princess Polly video? Where are they? Okay, what do we think? What do we think? Dark boots with the jeans or light boots with the jeans? Hmm, light ones? And the dark ones. No, it's, it's got to be the light ones. Has to be. Now I just have to find the other one. Shoes have a habit of getting divorced in my household. But these two decided to stay together for the sake of the children. What do you think? I think this is possibly my favourite outfit. Potentially. However, that being said, I do love this. And I feel like I need to put it back on. Sorry, I know you've already seen it, but... Hope you don't mind. Okay, back in the favorite top with the jeans. It's a vibe. I really like it. I've never owned brown jeans. I love them. They are so nice. I'm always on the lookout for good quality denim. And these, these are good quality denim. They feel really thick. They've got some give in them. They're stretchy enough that you can drop your books. You can squat and pick them up. I'm liking the individual items in this outfit, but I don't think that this is how I would, oh, hmm, maybe do I take that back? I was gonna say, I don't think this is how I'd style it, but I, it's kind of cool actually. It is cool. It's really cool. But hang on, we need we need the jacket. Oh, oh, oh. That, well, that completed everything, didn't it? I love it. I love it. The longer I look at this outfit, the more I'm like, yes, yes, it's perfect. But now I feel like I need to change the shoes once again. Oh, yes. Yes. 10 points to Gryffindor. Yes. Looks better with these. I think because they're not that long. The jeans, they are long jeans. I have long legs. So for me, I like my jeans to come down past my shoes. So that's why I always look for pants that are like 80 something, 83 centimeters. The inseam for me is what I like. And because these have a shorter inseam, maybe like 70 something, they're better for me with flat shoes. I, I'm i very fussy and I annoy myself. No one else would have a problem with the length of these jeans. I'm just like, hmm, that's three centimeters too short and it's showing my ankles. Heavens no. Here we go, back again with the gold hardware to top it all off. The gold necklace, gold belt, gold handbag, gold on the shoes. A little bit too much, but I don't mind. You know what I really want to try? The skirt. All right, interesting. Not what I had hoped for with this look. Yes to the skirt, because the skirt's beautiful, I love it. It's so comfy, it's got a really, really good height to the waist, and the way that the skirt sits, it's lovely. But it's pinstripe, and this with the argyle print, or whatever you call it, the hound's tooth, tweed, the checkered gingham, I don't know. This pattern doesn't match this, and I feel like that doesn't matter in some situations, but to me, just looking at myself in the mirror, I see pinstripes and I think gangsters, and I see this and I think Professor McGonagall. So I don't really think that they match. So if I just take this one away, 
problem solved. But that makes me sad because I didn't want to take this one away because this is my favorite blazer of all time now. Oh, ah, oh, this is so cool. I love this outfit so much. This makes me very happy. It makes me very, very happy. You know what's interesting? The skirt, I think the skirt is meant to be a black skirt, but to me, I don't know if it's just this lighting, looks a little bit navy to me, which is nice because the shoes are navy on the top. So it actually looks very deliberate. The top is called a, a brown top, but to me, I would almost think that it was green. And I'm starting to think I could be seeing colors a bit off because recently, uh, recently I bought an armchair, right? Sorry, tangent here. You know, I have these nice cool purple armchairs. So I wanted to get some blue matching ones. And in these pictures on this website that I bought them from, they looked pastel blue. And when they arrived, they were teal. And uh, I contacted the company and asked if I could send them back because they weren't the right color. And then a couple of weeks later, I ordered some new chairs to go around my dining table. And in the pictures on the website, I thought that they were white. And they turned up and they were beige. And I didn't send those back because I actually liked the beige, it was very nice. But I said to Dan, these aren't the colour I thought they'd be. And he said, isn't that what happened with the armchairs? And I said, yes. And he said, I think your computer screen might be not showing the right colours. And I said, but it's a 5K Retina MacBook. It has to be the right colours. And he was like, well, maybe it's your eyes. And here I am thinking that the black skirt is navy and the brown top is green. I feel like this could be a good one to wear with our headband. Oh, wait, why did I just suddenly turn into Sabrina? <laughs> Something that I would like to try is putting another top over the top of the turtleneck because I do really like to see turtlenecks poking out from underneath things. So maybe this one, maybe not. Maybe this one, no, no. And I've somehow ended up back here again. Funny, my favorite outfit, which I would leave on for the rest of the morning. Yes, it's. 4 a.m. now, so for the rest of the morning. But we've got other things to try. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Was I, I was talking about that skirt, oh my god. All right, so we've got the waffle knit top, which is very comfortable. I'm just a little bit lost about how to style this one, and I can't think of how Lucy intended for this to be styled. Maybe she might have meant for me to put it on with the jeans, possibly. Maybe, maybe. This is cute, comfy and cute, and I don't know if it gives off dark academia. Hmm, what do you guys think? Hang on, I just realized I put the boots back on again. Did I not just say five minutes ago, they're better for me with flat shoes? You know you've been wearing high heels for too long when they're what you go to instead of flats. There's something about putting on the headband that just makes it so much more innocent and fun and makes me feel 10 years younger. So whether or not Lucy intended these things to go together, I think that they do. Part of me wants to put them on with these, but a bigger part of me doesn't. All right, time for one of the heaviest pieces of clothing I've ever picked up in my life. Oh, it's so nice. It's so comfortable. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh now the question is how to style it. It is such a big thing. Like it's so chonky that I don't think it's gonna fit into my jeans. Oh, no. No way. What do we think? Maybe? Hmm. No. Not with the jeans. I would like it tucked into this skirt, but like I said, it's a chonky boy and it's creating, well, you can see the seam here. It's sitting flat, but it's not sitting flat. It's like sticking out a lot. So maybe the other skirt. I think not. Hmm. This is a dilemma. Don't get me wrong, I really, really like it. This is a glorious pullover sweater, whatever you want to call it, knit, cable knit sweater. Oh my God, it's so nice. But I can't quite get the styling right with what I have here at the moment. But I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Could you please tell me how you like to style cable knit sweaters? I feel like I'm on the right track, you know, with a, with a mini skirt and boots and stockings. I think that's, we're getting there but it's just, this one's not quite the right skirt, that one's not quite the right skirt. We're almost there, but not quite. I don't think that those jeans, I mean, the jeans were great with it, yes, but I am seeking perfection. Perhaps I will find it with this. All right, so I thought I'd show you what this looks like on its own first, so you can see. I don't think that I would style this as it is, just as like a, a vest kind of dress. Yeah, it's cool, unusual. I kind of feel like a little kid that's 
gone headfirst into their mum's wardrobe and come out the other side wearing an enormous vest that's big because they're a child. It just seems disproportionate to me. But that being said, I do remember back when I did the first video, I seem to remember browsing on Princess Polly and seeing this and thinking it looked really cool on the bottle. But I don't remember how they styled it. But the first thing that came to mind when I saw this vest, vest dress, was to put it on with this. So remember when you're in school and you'd like be in the change rooms and you didn't want anyone to look at you? So you'd come up with clever and creative ways to get changed sort of like this. I remember, still get changed like that. And just like that, I've preserved my modesty. Yeah, I think I'd be inclined to do something like this. This top is lovely, very thick and luxurious, but I don't entirely know what to do with the danglies. I guess you just tie a bow, I suppose. A little bit hard to do on your own. Hopefully it's just something like that. I suppose I would style this something like this. Not sold on it. It's probably my least favorite outfit, I would say, so far that I've tried. Who knows, maybe you might really, really like it. The pieces on their own are lovely. The vest is so soft, it's delightful. And the top, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this top. It's so nice. But I just feel like it's missing something. Hmm. No, but this has given me an idea. Just because it's a dress doesn't mean it has to stay as a dress. I could use it like a skirt. I think I'm getting somewhere now. I'm on something here, I swear. That trick where you tie it up and then you pull it out. Kind of. You get what I'm saying, right? Wait, wait. What am I doing trying to crop this when I've got a perfectly good cropped sweater right there? Wait, sorry, pause. Brief interlude to just say, how nice is this? This is not just a shirt, but a dress and a very nice one. This is so cool, so cool. I feel rich. I don't know what it is about white linen that just screams billionaire on a yacht, but that's how I feel. You know, it's probably not billionaire on a yacht anymore. It's more like billionaire on a spaceship. Okay, not bad. I feel like no matter what you put with this top, it'll look incredible. So I guess it's kind of cheating. <laughs> this does make me want to get a solid colored brown or beigey kind of, not beige, but tan, this color. I want a skirt that's just a block colored skirt like that. Ah, now I think that this is the last thing. Is this the last thing to try on? Have I really tried on everything? Oh no, I'm sad now. I don't want this to be over. <laughs> really wish this was a dress because how good does this look just with black stockings? This looks so nice. This is lovely. I'm, I mean, I'm standing here literally not wearing pants, so uh, just give, give me a moment. Oh my god. This is delightful. This is now one of my favorite pieces from the video, without a doubt. This is such a nice top. It's so thick and it's so soft and it's a really flattering cut. The sleeves are a really nice length. Oh. Oh, I really like this. Maybe the lighter boots. No. Maybe this I like. This is really, really cute. I don't know about Dark Academia though, but it's delightful. I would wear this outfit out and about. I'm, I'm going to wear this outfit out and about. I love it. This is so nice. Oh God, guys, I don't know. Tell me in the comments below how you would style this top. I'm just not quite sure how Lucy wanted me to wear this. But I don't think she intended me to wear these pants with this top. This is better, much better than those pants. This looks really, really cool. Now this feels correct. This could possibly be what she had in mind. This looks so cool. Oh my God, this looks so cool. This is Dark Academia, is it not? Is it not? Prove me wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. This is Dark Academia. I'm ready for my history lecture. No, no, my archaeology lecture. In fact, I am the lecturer. Hello students, I am Professor Pastel and I'm here today to tell you about my archaeological excavation in Israel, where I was on an excavation for a month. Our objective was to find conclusive evidence to prove whether or not the site was in fact occupied by Palestinian people. All right guys, that's it. That's everything. I hope that you liked today's video. Thank you so much, Princess Polly, for sponsoring this video. I had so much fun. I love the clothing from Princess Polly. I mean that wholeheartedly. It is so nice. It feels so good. The styles are beautiful. What I can't get over is the quality for the price. And if you wanna buy anything for yourself, don't forget to use Pastel Polly at the checkout for 20% off. And uh, if you want my uh, top picks as far as 
what I think you should buy if you like this clothing, buy this. I buy this in every colour. Uh, Princess Polly, please make this in every colour. I don't know how many colours there are in the world, but look, if you could narrow it down to let's say 50, uh, and then make one in every single colour, please thank you. This is glorious. So nice. These boots, without a doubt, I think these are now my favourite shoes that I own. And I don't care if they don't match anything in my wardrobe. I love them and I'm gonna wear them everywhere. I also think that the cut and the fit of the blazer is phenomenal. I think that this is a really good wardrobe staple, but mostly, most importantly, this one. This, uh, I'll be wearing this every day, forever. Bury me in it. So thank you, Lucy, I really appreciate it. If you guys wanna check out her channel, it's in the description box below, and so are all of the links to all of the items featured. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mwah!